2013. This event is uh, hosted at Orange County Great Park in the city of Irvine, California. The event dates are October 3rd through the 13th. Uh, welcome University, uh, University of California Cooperative Extension Master Gardeners to your training. We th I'm the volunteer manager for the um, uh, event volunteers and we thought we would put together a training for you just to um, let you know a little bit about the larger program that you are a part of um, so that you uh, get a sense of of how the Master Gardener and Farm and Food Lab fit into the bigger picture. So a lot of this is just sort of information. You don't have to absorb a lot of it, but just kind of know <clears throat> the elements that are, uh, that are going on about you. And then there are a couple of sort of logistical things that we would like you to take note of um, <clears throat> so that you can enjoy your time with us. So on behalf of us all, thank you in advance for uh, being a part of the Solar Decathlon and Expo. Next slide, please, Heather. So welcome to the Solar Decathlon and Expo. Next slide. So what is the U.S. Department of Energy Solar Decathlon? The Decathlon challenges collegiate teams to design, build, and operate solar-powered houses that are cost-effective, energy-efficient, and attractive. The winner of the competition is the team that best blends affordability, consumer appeal, and design excellence with optimal energy production and maximum efficiency. Here we have a very small video link which you're welcome to go back to at any time and it just is a nice um, short film or short video that gives you an overview of the Solar Decathlon if you are interested. You can learn more about the Solar Decathlon at solardecathlon.gov. Next slide please. And what is the Expo? The Expo is a clean, renewable and energy uh, an efficient energy exposition that will be hosted alongside the Solar Decathlon. Through fun interactive exhibits and activities, the Expo will provide visitors with information about the broad spectrum of energy efficiency options in home design, transportation, consumer products, food production, and education. So the Expo is a new element this year. The Solar Decathlon itself has been happening since 2002 in Washington, D.C., um, but this is the first time the Solar Decathlon is here in Southern California and uh, the first time that the expo is happening. So it's very, very exciting. Um, you're looking at a sketch of the, it's not the entire event, but it is sort of gives you a sense of orientation. In the center is the Sunshot Pavilion, and then to the left there are um, uh, expo um, exhibits, and I know that the farm and food lab is sort of behind those tents, and then to the right of the big large white tent is what we call the solar village. This is where the 19 homes come in um, and are set up and run on solar power um, and uh, are exhibited to our public, um, our, our visitors, and also the students themselves uh, um, uh, undergo the competition which we call the decathlon. Next slide please. So together the solar, decathlon, the solar Decathlon and the Expo create a unique and powerful showcase for technology, education, products, arts and business opportunities related to clean and renewable energy generation and efficiency use. Below is a photograph of Team New Zealand. They placed third in 2011. Um, this just gives you a sense of the sort of celebration and um, uh, jubilation that can happen um, when teams win awards. Uh, they're obviously very vibrant, very brilliant um, uh, young adults, um, and so they're a lot of fun to have around. Um, so we hope you have a chance to meet to meet some of our decathletes. This is also Team New Zealand. I'm a little partial to them because I'm from New Zealand. Um, so everyone sort of finds, or no, most people find a team that, that they're a little partial to, to, and it makes it a little bit more fun. Next slide, please. So a little bit of the history. The Solar Decathlon was held first in 2002, uh, and since then, every, uh, since, it, since then, 2005, 7, and 9, and 11. Uh, these events have taken place in, uh, on the National Mall in Washington, D.C. The sixth edition, the sixth installment, is this event, and the first to be hosted by the City of Irvine and the Orange County Great Park. To the right is a photograph of uh, Decathlon Director Richard King. This was his idea, and he has developed it um, into the award-winning event that it is today, and uh, Mr. King works for the U.S. Department of Energy. 
Next slide, please. The Solar Decathlon has also experienced international growth with uh, Solar Decathlon Europe. We have had two in Madrid, Spain in 2010 and 2011. And we also uh, have the next installment um, in Versailles, France. Uh, apologies for that noise. I am actually in a tent um, as we are building up the event. Um, so there's a little bit of a vehicle moving around me. Um, and then we've also uh, just wrapped up Solar Decathlon China in Datong, China in this past August. And uh, that was won by Team Australia who did a really interesting retrofit on a 60s prefab. So kind of very innovative. Next slide. All right, so the purpose of the U.S. Department of Energy Solar Decathlon, it is uh, DOE's most successful outreach for um, uh, the adoption of energy efficient products by design, educating students and the public about money saving opportunities and environmental benefits presented by clean energy products and design solutions, demonstrating to the public the comfort and affordability of homes that combine energy efficient construction and appliances with off-the-shelf renewable energy systems, providing participating students with unique training that prepares them for the clean energy workforce. Next slide, please. Solar Decathlon teams. So we have 19 teams participating this year. There's a very long list. I'm not going to read them all off to you, um, but just know that there are 19 teams coming. Next slide. Thank you. Uh, here is a list of some additional teams. So uh, the teams this year include nine returning teams that have participated in former decathlons, 11 new teams, and four international teams. You are welcome to go to the Expo website or the Solar Decathlon website. They have dedicated team pages, and you are welcome to read more. It's not pertinent to uh, you being a Master Gardener volunteer. It's just more if you are interested. And then there's a nice 17-minute video um, about the teams if you'd like to, to come back to that. Next slide. So the contest. So it is a decathlon, so that means there are 10 contests. So um, each, uh, each home, uh, each, each contest is uh, worth a maximum of 100 points for a competition total of 1,000 points. So they are earned in a couple of different ways. Um, task completion, such as cooking, washing dishes, and doing laundry. Um, monitored performance, such as comfortable indoor temperature. And some aspects are juried, um, uh, juried by jurors, uh, in, such as architecture, engineering, and com communications. So again, nothing other than just kind of letting you know a little bit about the contest. Next slide. And here again is a little bit more description about the contest. So to the right, you'll see something called the leaderboard. So at each end of the Solar Village are welcome tents. This year, we're going to have a digital leaderboard in each. And it just shows um, visitors uh, who's in the lead um, um, and who's placing at what time. So it's just a fun fun way to kind of keep up with the contest. Next slide. So the teams, um, how they are selected, it's a little over a two-year journey for them. About 40 university teams apply with 20 getting accepted. Um, and uh, they are seeking a team um, to build an innovative solar-powered house to raise additional project funds, support um, uh, the ability to support the project through an integrated curriculum and organize a student team able to carry the project through to completion. And these are the former winners from former decathlons. Next slide, please. Here's a calendar of all of the events. I'm not going to go over it other than to say, just to really illustrate when the public exhibit days are. So these are the days that they are open to the public to come and um, view the houses. Our public exhibit days are from 11 until 7 p.m. daily. There are contests running every day. Uh, they're only open to the public Thursday, Friday, and Saturday for the two consecutive weeks. So um, the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, it is closed to the public. So these are the days that I, I believe we have a presence from the Master Gardener team. Next slide, please. So we are expecting over 100,000 visitors, which is why we need you. Next slide. So you will be given driving directions um, from your Master Gardener coordinators, uh, giving you instructions about how to reach free parking lot A. 
uh, this is where you park for free. Um, and uh, uh, this is also the only parking lot with the shortest distance to the registration tent. So please um, do your best to follow these instructions. Otherwise, you might end up uh, in the public parking area, in which case um, uh, they will charge you $5 and it's a very long walk. So we really want to make sure you follow these directions. And so you park your car in parking lot A where that big blue arrow is. And at the top uh, of the map of the big blue arrow, you will see... Um, Sorry about that. Let me just turn my phone off. Um, so... Um, so that little small red box at the bottom of the arrow is the registration tent. So this is where you come and you meet us, the volunteer team, and you, um, we will give you a t-shirt and a water bottle um, and a hat. And so this is kind of going to give you a little bit of an overview of everything. So to the right, you'll see those sort of small blue boxes. That's the solar village. Each box represents a plot where a house is, is housed. And then that sort of area to the left of it is where the um, the expo uh, activations are happening and then um, obviously you guys probably know where your location is but that um, box right at the top that says um, farm uh, and food and the arrows there is where you will be working your shift. Next slide please. So when you arrive, check in at the volunteer desk located in the registration tent. Announce yourself to the volunteer team as a Master Gardener volunteer. This is very important because we have so many volunteers for so many different functions and they come from different areas. And since we aren't registering you in the same manner as our other um, volunteers, we don't want there to be any confusion for my team or for your team or that you get accidentally mis um, ac sent to the wrong location. So. So um, please announce yourself as a Master Gardener and then um, we will issue you um, a t-shirt, a water bottle and a hat. And the t-shirt um, is not to be worn for your shift, it is just a gift for you, a little souvenir um, from uh, the Expo and um, Orange County Great Park. Once you have your t-shirt, a water bottle and ball cap, um, um, please put some sunblock on um, and make sure your water bottle is full. An electric car has been provided for you from Orange County Great Park to transport you to your place of work. You will be informed from your Master Gardener staff with the uniform you are required to wear. Next slide, please. So meals. The event doesn't provide you a meal. However, the park has organized food vendors per the below. So on the days that you potentially could work, these are the hours of, um, of the food. Essentially, it mirrors the public exhibit days. So it's 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. daily. Um, so yeah. And just know the only thing to really note about it is that we share this with the visitors. Next, next slide, please. So uh, missing, missing found persons plan. All personnel working this event, uh, whether staff, production, team members, vendors, or volunteers have a responsibility, a responsibility to assist missing or found persons. As a general rule, never walk or a found child away from the location where they were found. Most times, reunification of a parent or child occurs within close proximity to where the child was located. Moving the child will only de delay reunification. Do not move a parent or guardian who is searching for a lost child or person from the area you contact them. Please keep them in the same area and broadcast information on the missing person over the radio or via a cell phone to your supervisor. Information you should attempt to get include, but is not limited to, name and age of missing found, physical description, clothing, height, weight, hair, color, eye color, ethnicity, location last seen, found, name and phone number of parent or reporting party, uh, always stay with the person reporting someone missing or the found person. We need to have someone available to speak to the reporting party if questions arise or additional information is necessary. If a missing person, um, a missing person or found person is not reunited in a re reasonable amount of time, police officers who respond um, uh, to assist will instruct you where to take the missing found person 
or they will c uh, take control of the person and escort them to an appropriate location while reunification attempts continue. Next slide. I know that's a lot of information to absorb, but that is something that, that we would like everybody here to, um, to um, execute should they find um, someone. Um, okay, what to do in an emergency. It actually says here this will be on the back of your badge, but actually that's not correct um, for your team. It's on the, on the badge that we give um, the event, uh, the Solar Decathlon volunteers. So, um, but just kind of know that this is how we manage um, an emergency. Secure the scene to prevent further injuries. Call 911 for an emergency response. First aid if needed and if trained. Um, um, provide first aid if needed and if trained. Remain at the scene until a City of Irvine public officer takes charge. Call or notify Solar Decathlon headquarters, organizers, and or staff. Okay, so our team um, will be providing you with five to eight Expo Farm and Food Lab volunteers. And this is how we have been communicating their um, job working with the Master Gardeners. Um, Expo Farm and Food is a hands-on gardening experience featuring themed planters with fruits, flowers, vegetables, and herbs, and is managed by the University of California Cooperative Extension Master Gardeners. Volunteers will be asked to perform one or more of the following. Staff the entrance, manage children's, activi uh, manage children's activity sign up and lines, or work with a group of children on specific activities. Volunteers must be able to stay on their feet, these are our volunteers, and walk for extended periods of time. Be patient and enjoy working with children. Check in with the Master Garden, check in at the Master Garden booth upon arrival. And so our volunteers will, will be wearing bright yellow shirts. So what is happening at the Expo? So the Expo, there is a mountain of activities happening. So just as an FYI, so you have a sense of kind of what is around you and what you are a part of. Uh, the powerful classroom, the powerful ideas classroom, uh, which is a series of events and activities for students of all ages, focused on science, engineering, and architecture, including the Kids Discovery Village. The powerful ideas symposium, uh, which is the location for guest speakers and panelists, um, presenting innovative ideas related to clean, re renewable energy efficiency and its connection to the world and our everyday lives. The competitors pavilion. Um, a showcase of the colleges and universities competing in the Solar Decathlon, as well as the winners of the Department of Energy Housing Innovation Awards and the American Institute of Architects Orange County Student Design Competition Awards. Next slide, please. Also is the transportation zone. This will include several dynamic elements, uh, including the California Challenge, um, a competition among different kinds of students, um, designing an, an electric and energy efficient vehicle. Um, and this vehicle has to, to run for one hour on one dollar's worth of, um, of energy. This is being uh, supported by UCI students. Palm Court Arts Complex will host engaging um, exhibitions um, that are connected to the themes of the Solar Decathlon and Expo the farm and food lab that you are all extremely familiar with. We also have the food pavilion, which is where you can um, obtain some, um, some refreshments before or after your shift. Um, and then we also have the ABC Green Home, a highly energy efficient home created by Southern California Edison, Green Home Builder Magazine, and a host of innovative and creative vendors and suppliers. Next slide, please. So how do you get to work? Next slide. So you will be sent these directions. I understand that you will all be driving yourselves to your um, place of work, so if please follow these directions. Some navigation devices um, take you to the guard track, and then there is um, adequate and ample signage that will give you arrows telling volunteers to park in parking lot A. Some navigation de devices send you to the other end of the park and sort of drop you in the middle of nowhere. So we have been finding that Google Maps is quite reliable. So um, Please be mindful of that. You want to get yourself to the guard shack. Next slide, please. Okay, so a closer look at the expo. So you're very familiar with where you're located. Palm Court is just to the left 
of the Farm and Food Lab. And of course, there's the bright, iconic orange balloon that you are very familiar with. So lower in the um, expo, you will see a pop-up park, um, the food uh, um, courts area, the competitive, competitive, I'm sorry, competitive pavilion. Um, you, also, Irvine Public Schools Foundation has an activation, the Discovery Village, um, the Sunshot uh, Pavilion, and um, the Powerful Ideas uh, Symposium. In the center is a medic so and an ambulance. So if you have a need or someone else has a need, please send them to the center of um, the event, right by the very large tent in the center of the um, of the Expo and the Solar Decathlon. It's called the Sunshot Pavilion that is in close proximity to the ambulance. Um, next slide, please. Okay, so here is an overview of the Solar Decathlon. So as I said earlier, you will see each blue box represents a home. Each home has a number and it has an acronym, an acronym for the, the team that it is representing. And that is Decathlete Way. It's sort of one street. And um, if you have some time uh, where you're not volunteering, we hope that you come by and you take a look. The event is free um, to the public, as is the expo. And um, uh, visitors have the chance to tour the homes. If the home is very popular, there will be a line. Um, so some homes you might have to wait a little bit to get in to um, visit the homes. And uh, each end of the tent has a welcome tent where we display the leaderboard, hand out programs, um, and the like. So there are sort of, you know, restrooms and sort of food carts surrounding that area and rest area. So that is what we call the Solar Village. And the students who are participating, we call them decathletes. If you see right at the bottom those squiggly lines, that's um, part of the expo and the transportation zone. That's where Toyota has, um, a, has set up testing um, hybrid and uh, plug-in vehicles, and that is also where UCI is doing the California Challenge. Next slide, please. So here are some helpful links that you're welcome to go back to if you like. Um, on the... Um, on the uh, uh, the same link where you found this recording, there should be a document that is the PDF of this PowerPoint. So you can go back to these links if you so choose and want to do some further study. Um, and this is also where that two and a half minute film is and the 17 minute film. Uh, there's, there's nothing mandatory that you have to review, it's just for your own um, in, uh, interest. Next slide please. So this is the volunteer team. This is who we are. We are the ones um, that are going to be issuing you, issuing you your t-shirt and your water bottle and hat. Um, we look forward to meeting you. Um, we do ask that you take all your instructions from your own organization. We just thought it would be nice to make your acquaintance, to share a little bit about the, sort of the larger events that you're a part of. So we really do hope that this training has been helpful for you. Next slide. So um, so that's kind of it in a nutshell. If we haven't addressed your questions, please flow them through your coordinators and um, they will let us know. Otherwise, um, we hope you know where to park. We hope you know where um, um, to collect your, um, your sort of gifts. And we uh, look forward to meeting you and we hope you enjoy being a part of this very special event. So on behalf of us all, from the Solar Decathlon and the Expo and Orange County Great Park, we thank you in advance for volunteering, and this concludes your training.